Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are finishing out the remaining two stages of the new Bardock Furious Charge event. And in this video, we're going to be taking down the versus AGL stage. Now, as I'm sure you can tell, the main attacker for this run is going to be the Extreme Z Awakened Tech Majin Vegeta. But just to be clear, even though we've been using the uh, attack all strategy for every single stage so far, it's definitely not the only way to beat this event. I mean, I've seen a lot of people who don't have the LR Broly or the Fizz Broly and so on and so forth just bring a bunch of decently hard hitting units that can also attack multiple times in a turn, like the Tech LR Broly, the um, Int Broly, LR Blue Boys, and other units like that. Obviously, in that case, you are relying a lot more on RNG, so it might take a few more attempts. But the point I'm trying to make is that there's more than one way to clear the event, even though we've been using the same strategy the whole time. Anyways, with that said, let's take a quick look at the team here. We have our double tech Majin Vegeta's. And my leader is the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta because he is a 170% lead for Super Saiyan 2. But you can bring a Pure Saiyan's lead or a Resurrected Warrior's lead or any other category that the Majin Vegeta's are in. And for the rest of the team, once again, we have all support units. And our support items are the Future Bulma, who gives 25% attack for 5 turns. And also a nuking item for that final phase of the stage so that is the full setup and now let's jump in here and see what happens okay so luckily we do have the Majin Vegeta's on separate rotations so this should be fairly quick I'm gonna move the uh, Vegeta there let's see how much attack he gets now this is the first time I'm actually running this stage so I don't know exactly what to expect. So we got about 1.2, 1.3 mil. It's not bad. That's actually not bad. It's very similar to the Fizz Broly from the versus Int stage. So on that last phase, as long as we get something like 12 plus orbs with the nuking item, I think we should be able to clear the entire field. Or at least come very close. It might actually be really close and we leave them with like a sliver of HP and that's really gonna suck. But for a lot of these videos actually, I've been getting full boards of orbs and if that happens then we can definitely kill everyone. But we'll see. Okay, so we got through the first two phases with no issues. This is phase number three and three and four uh, are probably gonna take two attacks each. Yeah, this attack I don't think will be enough. Yeah, it's not. It's not. We're probably going to leave them with like 30% HP or so. Uh, <laughs> this is going to do no damage. Watch. There we go. So yeah, everybody still has about 30% HP, but luckily we do get two turns to uh, beat each of these. So we'll be fine. Actually, why don't we just pop the Bulma item? Because it does last five turns, so it doesn't really matter. And now we'll be able to move on to phase number four and obviously uh, the last video of the day is going to be the versus tech stage after that it's going to be the fifth stage and that one i would say is probably the most i don't want to say difficult because it's kind of the same thing <laughs> as like all these other stages but it's maybe the most complicated when it comes to team building just because we don't have this like go to attack all units like the other types right we don't have an int pure Saiyans unit that consistently attacks all with their super attack like you know the LR Broly or the Fizz Broly or Nappa and Vegeta and so on and so forth. I mean we do have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta so we'll definitely bring two of him just for the uh, active skill that can attack all but outside of that I mean we really only have Raditz who I'll probably use but he doesn't really hit that hard, which is kind of his main problem. But we'll be fine, we'll be fine. If you guys are struggling with that one, uh, that video is coming out 
in a couple hours, so stay tuned for that. And now we should move on to the final stage here of the of this event, or rather the final phase of this stage. There we go. And fingers crossed we get some good RNG with the Takoyaki items here. So here we go. There's one. Okay, not as many as I was hoping for, but hopefully this second one does a bit more. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright, so... I guess the most we can get is 19. So let's just go here. And... Doesn't matter what these guys get. There we go. Give me at least like 3 mil. Ooh, 2.6. Might be close. Might be close. Oh, I don't know, guys. Is this enough? Yo, it might not be enough. Hold on. Okay. Oh my god, yo, boo, please. Boo, please. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is... That is unbelievable. I can't believe we actually... We actually lost. This guy had... The tiniest sliver of HP left, man. Just one guy. Alright, so we got a little bit unlucky on the last run, but... I did go through it again with the same team. And this time, we're gonna let the Topo super first for... A little bit of an additional attack boost. We have, uh, I believe, 20 orbs with the Takoyaki items, so two more than last time, and I think we got it now. We have to. We have to. Yo, if we don't beat it in this run, then I'm done. I quit. Okay, here we go. So attack stat is 2.9 this time. Last time it was 2.6, I think. So everyone is getting hit for 8. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this video definitely took a bit longer than I was expecting. But we got two link level increases. That's actually better than like all of my guru growth event runs. That event sucks, by the way. That event is like really really disappointing but anyways um that is the versus agl stage guys like i said the team does work but sometimes you get a little bit unlucky maybe you don't get enough orbs from your nuking items and uh you know what happened the first time to us could happen to you but don't give up just try again and eventually it'll work out so uh that is the second last stage for the furious charge breaking the siege event we got one more on the way but uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, or rather this video right now, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.